get some breathability down by the goods. A little pro tip there for you. And it's done. Life is good. What's up everybody? This is Jason, that's my Jeep. Today I want to talk to you about some of the upgrades that I've done on it and one of the most important things you'll learn as a Jeep owner, buy quality upgrades right out of the gates. Don't wait a year, don't wait two, three, four years. Make this Jeep what you want it to be from day one so you can enjoy the hell out of it. So today I'm gonna to take you for a tour around mine, show you six or seven parts. You can buy all of them for under $1,000 and they're gonna be super game changers. Here we go. All right, so if you're treating your Jeep right, you are taking these doors off on the regular and swinging your leg out and showing the world why you bought this Jeep. Quad Door Tech finally figured out about two or three years ago to make a quality mirror mover that is not cheap, but it's truly probably one of the best on the market that I've ever seen. Essentially, you take your old mirrors off, put this bumper where your old mirrors were, and you attach your new mirrors up front. Nice little hinge so your mirrors drop back in place whenever you're driving. And the biggest thing about these is that you can see out your passenger mirror when you're driving. The problem with most mirror movers is your passenger mirror is so far up that you can't see it. It's unsafe. These things have enough blind spots, we don't need to lose another mirror. So, so I'll show you how I get these on and off. It comes with these handy dandy little Allen wrenches. Little tiny hole in the side there. And pop your door off. So while these things do cost about three to 350, you can sell your original mirrors for probably 50 to 75 bucks. If you're wondering why my Jeep's so clean, it's because I just got back from Michigan and they have salt there. This guy got his second bath of the year. So next up, Rugged Ridge makes this four set of window visors to keep the rain out of your Jeep and allows you to drop your windows down two or three inches without getting any rain in there. So for somebody that sleeps in their Jeep a lot overnight, doesn't want to sleep in a sauna or a hot box, these things are key for me. 60 bucks for the set of four. Matte finish, goes with the rest of the Jeep. Uh, super sexy, easy install. Took me about 20 minutes to do all four. Got 3M, super high bond tape on the back of them. Rugged Ridge, good job. So next up is an insert for your dash uh, cubby, I guess. Is that what we're calling it? I don't know. Easy install. Essentially, it replaces the old insert here and drop in your new insert. And it has a pretty much one-handed pop your phone in. You got your GPS going. You know, for me, I run 3.5 millimeter audio cord. So now I got my Pandora and my tunes pumping right into the auxiliary. And I got a six foot uh, charging cord going into the uh, middle seat console here. So super easy. Um, pretty darn cheap, but well worth the money for this, you know, it's a quality insert. So hopefully while I've been kicking around, you've noticed these super sexy seat covers that I have on. So Cover King does these things all custom. They measure out the, the little nooks and crannies of the seats for all the vehicles that they do. 130 bucks for a set of these for the front seats. These things fit like beautifully. Uh, easy install, pockets in the back. Uh, headrests have custom sleeves that go over them that are form-fitted. So the other thing that I have that is super retro and extremely important because if you've ever driven in the south in the months between say April and October, you know that it is monkey butt season and your goods are going to sweat. Guys, girls, it's going for all of us. Uh, these beads are amazing, 25 bucks for a set of two. Most people that don't drive Jeeps, most people that don't have seat covers, not as big of a deal, but throw these seat covers on, things get a little warm down here. These beads are uh, gold, 25 bucks, totally worth it. Uh, to get some breathability down by the goods. So I'm gonna show you this top later, stick around for that, but black tops on a Jeep, super hot mentioned it already I sleep in here heat shield makes these custom fitted uh, window visors for keeping the heat out 40 bucks these things are custom fitted custom sized they fit perfectly go in super easy they cover everything up I got bungee cords up in the back so store it up top out of the way no worries So 
So there are a few things I love more than a nice hammock. Fox Outfitters or Eno, uh, both great products. Uh, this is Fox, I got a couple Enos in the back. But you see what I just did? This thing is always hooked up to the crossbar at the top and wherever the heck I want to, I just pull it out and take a nap. This is why Jeeps are so fun. Little things like this, 30 to 40 bucks, hook up two of them, hang with a friend, life is good. Uh, this is the Trek Top NX replacement top from Best Top. Best Top makes amazing products. I've been buying their stuff for 15 years, uh, from duster covers to bikini tops to this, you know, top of the line uh, replacement top. You can sell your old top for about, about 500 bucks. That's how I'm keeping this list under $1,000 is buy this thing for $1,000, sell your old one for five or 600 bucks. Your net loss is four or 500 bucks. So one of the reasons that I actually got this top is because of this fastback option here, right, right there. Looks like a Tonka truck, super fun. What I will tell you is that you do lose some storage space back here. Uh, you lose about a foot for somebody sleeping in the back. It's a blessing and a curse, lose a little storage, but I get to look up at the sky every night whenever I sleep and check out the stars whenever I'm sleeping in the back of my Jeep, so it's a bonus. One of the key features of this top is that you essentially have a bikini top built into it. Take off the sides, take off the back, and you've got a built-in bikini top. All right, so first things first. This is the black twill version of the Trek Top NX. Highly recommend the black twill. This thing is two and a half, three years old. It looks like it just came out of the box. It just looks so much better than the vinyl version. One of the biggest differences between this and your factory top is, number one, it's easier to use. I'll pull over at a light and pop this thing and it's done. It takes that long. But here's the nice part. The factory tops have that accordion fold and you see these folks, sorry if you're one of them, see these folks driving down the road and they got this big wind sock up here because of the accordion fold of those factory uh, Sunrider, I think they call them. This has one hinge and the entire front section flips back. So that is that. Probably took me a minute and a half to take that off. Good to go. Couple extra products take you over that thousand dollar threshold, but make your life easier, make your Jeep more functional. So if you want to go next level, these are a couple of cool products. These doors are hanging on a Quadratech door hanger. Fits two doors, $130, bolts to a 16 inch uh, on center studs in your garage and literally just pop the door off, pop it on here. Piece of cake, keeps the paint inside away from everything. You're not gonna get dings on that. And for 130 bucks, these things are lifesavers. Get everything off the floor out of your way. So highly recommend this one. Last but not least, I have the really expensive upgrade but totally worth it is these ADD off-road stealth fighter front, rear bumper, and tire carrier. So that you can then put that tire carrier, bolt it to the bumper, it's all connected to the frame, get it off your door and stop that torque. Uh, made in the USA, and uh, yeah, you'll see on the front that I have the rigid LED lights, inserts. So these bumpers total, I think you're looking at about $3,500 investment. Uh, you got a winch mount on the front, get you out of trouble if you get into it. And uh, yeah, ADD, make some good products. Installed them myself was not an easy install, but I did it literally all by myself. You got a buddy that can help you install that. Uh, should go, piece of cake. But uh, yeah, highly recommend these if you get a big bonus this year. All right, so there you go. Appreciate you hanging out with me today. Hope you like some of those upgrades. Let me know in the comments whether you have some of these things, whether you have some better products that um, folks might be interested in. Obviously, I can't research them all, but these are some of my first videos. Thanks for being patient with me. Check out the other videos I have. If you want to know about the build that I have in the back, the bed that I sleep in with all the storage underneath, do me a solid and hit the subscribe button. Share this with a friend. Hopefully, I'll see you guys out on the road one of these days. Peace.